Another atmospheric condition under study right now is the big red spot on the planet Jupiter. The CNN science editor Charles Crawford has that story. It wasn't until the 1979 Voyager flyby that Jupiter finally began to give up the 300-year-old secret of the Great Red Spot. With careful analysis, the theories that it was a volcano, a new moon forming, a column of gas, or a hurricane were eliminated. Under a blue filter, there it was, a gigantic eddy of swirling gas, 25,000 miles wide, whipping smaller storms aside at speeds of up to 200 miles an hour. From this rich source of new data, researchers now have succeeded in constructing computer models that duplicate Jovian circulation patterns. The computer shows how the planet's rotational forces and high-speed jet streams that run in opposite directions give birth to vortices that begin to develop into new storms, the kind of large white oval storms observed below the giant red spot. When run as a motion picture, the computer displays reveal how the larger storms catch up to and assimilate the smaller ones. The red spot lies between an easterly and a westerly jet. And these jets are driven by the smaller storms on Jupiter, which get their energy from the sun. These jets can become too strong at some point, and any other storms in that neighborhood, uh, such as these superstorms, if they're incipient, they can draw energy, that excess energy, from these jets and develop into large superstorms. However, Williams laments that for now the computer model is only two-dimensional, since we have only been able to observe the surface of the giant red spot, large enough to cover the entire surface of the Earth. What we'd really like to see is the vertical structure of these things. What happens to the red spot as you go down into the atmosphere? Do the winds get stronger? Do they get weaker? Does the spot change shape? Um, just how far down does it go? So after 300 years, the true nature of Jupiter's red spot is still unknown and is likely to remain that way until an instrument probe is sent through the atmosphere of the largest planet in our solar system. Charles Crawford, CNN, Princeton.